We are set to bring you base. In now, Jonathan Hancock. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Into the bleachers and gone. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one. Yeah. So stepping in, Pedro Acevedo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The one-two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Hancock. One out. Okay, here's how the Cubbies are lining up. Now at the plate, Juan Medina. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. Hancock is after it. And that's the third out. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. All tied at one and one. Stepping in, David Kroon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No outs, nobody on. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hancock has it in his sights. One down. Standing in, Jonathan Hancock. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Digging in now, Jonathan Hancock. And they're runners at the corners now. Jonathan Hancock. First pitch coming, here it is. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got it. One there, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. The tag, and it's a double play. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Jose Guzman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This is skied out toward right, moving under it, Hancock. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now at the plate, Willie Pacheco. Now batting, third baseman, Willie Pacheco. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hancock back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Leading off the inning, Jonathan Hancock, and they'll need him to get right something field. going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Oh. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. The relay, and a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. That's the perfect answer after you've given up the lead in the previous inning. Put the tying run on second and get the momentum going. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And this Our evening's contest comes tonight. to a close, 5-3. Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from... So striding in, Luis Reyes. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Pulled toward right center field. Hancock on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So coming to the plate, Jonathan Hancock, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hancock. First offering on its way. Hard hit toward the hole. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Man, he wasn't letting that, that one go. Done. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. 
ready now. Jose Guzman. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Guzman. In the air to straightaway right. Hancock giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Kroon rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Digging in, Jonathan Hancock. He singled his last time up. Jonathan Hancock. First offering on its way. Runner goes for second. Hot shot to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, nice effort by the third baseman right there to slide and try and knock that down. That ball was hit. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Francisco Cervantes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hancock will wait on it. And there's the second out of the inning. So here now is the pitcher, Andres Machado. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hancock going back to the track, but he can't get there, and this might tie up the game. Now both runners are across. And he will come all the way around. It's an inside-the-park three-run home run. At the plate, Luis Reyes will swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second now and headed for third. And he is into third with a two-out triple. And that's his first triple of the season. The way he exploded out of the box, you knew he was determined to get the third, and he made it happen. Heading out towards shallow right. Hancock is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. No damage. Now to the plate, Jonathan Hancock. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is hit pretty well out to left field. Pena going back on it. Off the LED board and gone. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not. Standing in with the bases loaded, Darren Cortez, as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. Skied into straightaway right. Hancock on the move. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Phillies leave them loaded. This game's all tied at four. Digging in once again, Jonathan Hancock. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. First pitch coming. Here it is. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hard liner towards short. And a leaping try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center, a base hit. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked.
trying to pick things up where he left off. Jonathan Hancock. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. So a solo shot here to left center field. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Wow, everybody wants to be a hero and hit one of those walk-off game-winning home runs. So you know right now when he's getting mobbed by his teammates, he has to feel awfully good. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he wound up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't get the toughest one of them all, a triple, but it was still an outstanding showing with the bat. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. The Chicago Cubs posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Robert Pena claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Now baseball under the lights of Wrigley Field in Chicago. Tonight it's game three of this four-game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First hit, Daniel Hashimoto is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can only win your first big league game once, and in his last start, he did just that. I'm sure that ball is put away someplace very special. Nothing more he'd like to do than get win number two here in this one. Into the box now, Jonathan Hancock. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Now the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Pena is there. And the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We are still scoreless. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the now Phillies. Bad. Luis right Reyes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo. Digging in to try it again. Andres Melendez. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Melendez. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Skied into straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that in. The next hub up, Jonathan Hancock. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Jonathan Here's the first Jonathan. pitch to him. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that'll hit off the ivy out there. The relay. And he is 
is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Man, that's a nice shot by the batter right there. Now batting, Cam Gallagher. Fly out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Heading out towards shallow right, Hancock moves over, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So next to the plate for the Phils, Stanley Brown, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Brown. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. That softly hit to right, will that get down? Mondesi takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. So in now for Chicago, Jonathan Hancock. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed to deep left field, and the wind's going to grab it and take this on to Waveland Avenue, a home run. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yet. At the plate, David Kroon. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Hancock is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So it stepping into the box, Jose Guzman. He's one for two in the ball game. A one-one. Guzman hit the other way out toward right field. Hancock is there. One away. Ready to take his hacks again, Jonathan Hancock, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That... Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win. And as we pick up live action, runners are currently at the corners here with two gone in the inning. Now in the box, Jonathan Hancock. He's getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. Owen won the count. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. High in the air out to center field. Guzman has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Dan Altavia is on to pitch from the bullpen now. To start. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Tuesday night baseball now from the home of the Indians. Progressive field here in Cleveland. Stepping up now, Jonathan Hancock. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Fernandez racing back out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So it's a solo shot to dead center. 32 now for the season. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing.
Well, it's not too surprising to see him go bridge here. Two outs, base is empty. That's when you see a guy change their approach, and they just swing for the fences, trying to make the inning after all, and that's exactly what he did right here. Stepping into the box, Gilberto Gutierrez. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Gilberto Gutierrez. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hancock has a beat on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Time now in Cleveland to take a glance at the tribe. Now at the plate, Jonathan Hancock. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Rip down the line. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Gilberto Gutierrez. Runner in scoring position with two guns. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hancock going back on it. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. Definitely aggressive approach here down 0-2. Jonathan Hancock. We'll stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock. Digging in, Mark Howry, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit surprised to see the bullpen inactive right now. Yeah, I'm with you, Matt. Even though he's pitching okay, I do think you have to look at what he's given you and realize he's probably approaching the end of his rope pretty soon. Last thing you want is for things to start to unravel and not have a guy ready that you can turn to. And the Indians have an early threat here in the end. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Hancock. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Line drive to left. De La Rosa is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second. Into the box now, Eric Fernandez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A one pitch on its way. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Hancock is there to make the catch, and that's a big out number one. Now at the plate, Jonathan Hancock. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ballgame. First delivery to him on the way. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here. But if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Yeah, that ball was hit real hard. Good job. Boy, well, talk left. about having a day here. Riding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Jonathan Hancock. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. This is line to left. De La Rosa is there, and he'll make the catch. This evening's game comes to an end 5-4, the final tally. Carlos Estevez gets the win in relief, his second of the year. We're just a few blocks south. At the plate, Jonathan Hancock. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at-bat. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty, they... There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue... Ready to take his hacks again, Jonathan Hancock. 
as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Working for the punch out and the offering. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Ready for another chance? Jonathan Hancock. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Navoa waits on it, and he brings it in on the warning track. In now for Cleveland, Francisco Mejia. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Here's the 0-2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And uh, that's going to fall. A base hit. Not one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 5-4 game. Standing in, Mark Howry. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Striding in once again, Jonathan Hancock. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and one strike. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Move it, Bounce move it, it to move the it, left side. It. Chapman brings it in. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Miguel Amaya. Right fielder, Miguel Amaya. Now the three and two pick. Popped him up. Mondesi moving to his left. One out. Striding in, Jonathan Hancock. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's set. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. Chapman has it cleanly. Go on to first, gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. 8 5 today. Cleveland took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end.